Hello everyone. We are going to look at how to animate a flag and there are two ways to do it. Uh, the first one is by creating a plane and the second one is by creating a rectangle. Okay, and it just gives a different look to it. So it depends on which you like, you can choose. Okay, so very simple system. What I'll do is reset. And first we will create a cylinder. A very thin cylinder for the pole. Okay, so it's five centimeters and say three hundred centimeters tall. Okay, then we'll create a plane. I'm going to add zeros so it has more segments. This will give a more smooth result. Okay. Then we will add a cloth modifier to this. Zeros. Uh, what I did was I searched for pirate flag image and I like this image so I'm using that one so if you go to material editor standard material diffuse general bitmap Use your image, assign material to selection, show shaded material. Okay, and if you want, you can add shininess to your material. All right. So once the cloth is added, we'll go to object properties and the plane is selected, we'll make it cloth and then there are different options to select the cloth. It's polyester, satin, silk, whichever you think. An important thing is to say OK. All right. One more thing we'll do is add object, add our cylinder and we'll make that a collision object. Okay. So plane one is a cloth and cylinder one is a collision object. All right. Next thing we are going to do is we need forces. So we will add a wind. And the wind has to be, I'll turn the object snap on and rotate the wind and keep it at an angle okay one wind is down sending the wind up i will copy the wind as a copy rotate it down keep different angles and rotate it in this angle as well counter it a little bit Okay, so there are two wind forces. I will select this, go to modify panel, select the cloth, and then we will add forces. 
select these two forces add it here and say ok and now we will simulate and it's falling down we'll click on reset simulation one step is to go and create group zoom in real close select the first level of vertices and make a group doesn't matter the name and then we need to attach that group to the hole all right and now if you put modify panel and simulate it it's going to stick to the pole it falls down and then the wind should pick it up all right and then you get the simulation of your flag that does increase the strength too and then simulate it again Okay. The other way to do it was I could move the bit around. And see what looks good. Alright. So the other way was let me stop this. So you can reset it as well. So we'll do the same thing again two times. Create a cylinder. This time we'll create a little far away. Radius of five. And then we'll create a rectangle this time. Create the same size. And then we will add a garment maker. G A R garment maker. And then again cloth and then the same process. Okay. Object properties, rectangle, cloth. Let us try satin. Okay object properties add object cylinder to add collision okay same thing again group select the end vertices add a group sim node this pole okay one more thing Forces will use the same wind force. Okay. Material will assign the same material. We'll have to add a UVW. UVW, my God. UVW. Okay, and that fixes the map. And then we can put it below the cloth so it doesn't bother us to select our cloth and simulate. Again, it is going to fall and the wind will pick up. Okay, so you can play around with the wind and different settings for the material for the cloth and you get flag animation using forces simulation okay thanks